I think recognising that you're not good at everything is the first thing to do. Good morning guys. So today we have a very quick vlog on the topic of recognising what you're best at. So I think one of the problems that uh, business owners who start from scratch have is that they do everything at the beginning and then as their business grows they're unable to remove some of the things that they have been doing and give that out to other people. So this is really about delegating, it's about uh, recruiting people around you that can do the job probably better than you actually. Um, it's about saying no to certain things that maybe you did say yes to before. Uh, it's about playing the 80-20 rule. So actually check out Tim Ferriss's book, 4-Hour um, Workweek, uh, which is all about the 80-20 rule. Very good book. Um, and for me, I just wanted to share some of the things that I've done. So one of the first things that I did was I delegated, and this was very, very early days, this was probably in the second year of me running, I delegated out uh, finance to a bookkeeper. Um, because yes, I could have done the finances myself, and I certainly did in the very, very first days, but actually it's something that I'm not massively strong at, so I noticed that, I recognised that, and I employed somebody to come in one day a week to do, uh, in fact, I don't think it was one day a week at the beginning, it was probably two days um, every couple of weeks or something. And I got them to come in and I did got them to do the cash flow and uh, I worked with them on it obviously but I got them to do all the inputting of receipts and uh, th things like that. So that was the first thing I delegated out. Later on in my journey I got a PA, a personal assistant and it was interesting that stage of our business because when I was talking to quite a few of my peers who had businesses as well of similar sort of sizes quite often the question around the table would be do you need a PA? Um, why do you need a PA? And this is fairly a, a fairly easy one for me to answer. It's so easy to get drowned in the emails uh, asking you for your time, for calendar appointments, um, to get back to you on certain points when actually all of that firefighting or that time that you're spending could be spent on things that you're better at doing for your business, whether it be selling or production, um, actually doing the, the work itself. So what, getting a PA was one of the most important parts in my, um, in my history of, of optics. So I think recognising that you're not good at everything is the first thing to do, and then thinking about carefully and tactically about where the areas that you can delegate tasks off uh, best to somebody else are. Uh, yes, there is an investment and it's a hard jump to make and it's one of these things where you have to take a bit of risk at first because you're going to have to probably employ somebody or outsource something which is going to cost you money and that's money that you you have to think in your mind, yes, I could have done it, but it's better off spent elsewhere in order for the opportunity cost of my time to be to generate even more. And that is a kind of a mental shift that needs to happen and one that's uh, I think a lot of people quite struggle with. The other thing is actually recruiting uh, new staff members and, and recruiting people that are at least as good at, at as if not better than you. So they're not going to need hand holding constantly and they're going to be able to take their job and run with it and, and actually show you new ways as well. So that's another stage and a mental shift that you need to make in, in your business too. Um, I wanted to focus on this just because the vlog I did last night about our journey through the 15 or 16 years just got me thinking about some of the key points in that time that allowed us to grow because a lot of people never break out of that kind of zero, uh, one to five employees bracket to the next level and in order to do that you have to make some of these decisions, you have to employ other people to, that will do things that you did. Uh, if you don't, you're, you can't expect to, to ever get through that, that period of your, your business existence. So I hope there's a, a kind of useful takeaway in there for you guys. Um, you might not be looking to grow your business, you might just want a lifestyle business which is, is, generates you an income which you're happy with, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But I was keen to grow my business and this was some of the, the, the things that I had to think about when that was, uh, was on my mind. So I hope that's a useful takeaway guys and uh, until next time, I'll see you then.
Peace.